There we are then, still plugging away. And uh, it's tensioner time now. Um, we've got the valve train built up. Uh, we need to spin the engine over. And check the valve clearances. In order to do that, we have to put the tensioner back in. So, uh, let's just dispel some myths about the tensioner. What the tensioner is, self-adjusting, which, um, let's just find the right focal point. There's a coil, let's put it down over there. There's a coil spring. In the back of there, you can just see the tang. There, look. Um, now, the coil spring, allows that plunger to come out on a ratchet as the chain wears. So, in order to fit the tensioner, um, put it that way, in order to fit the tensioner, you have to uh, re retract the plunger and lock it in place. There's a special tool for that, and I don't have one. But, I don't even know what it looks like, to be honest, but, um, there's a screwdriver slot down in there, and there's this castellated bit, and what I imagine it is, is probably a screwdriver with a castellated bit on it that just locks off on those little serrations there. But don't worry about me waffling, just ignore that bit, and do what I do, which will be... Put the tensioner in. Start the... Uh Start the bolts, get yourself a very small blade screwdriver, put it in the end there, um, and wind the screwdriver in clockwise, and as you do that, you'll see the tensioner goes loose because you've pulled the plunger back. Now, the tricky bit now is for me <laughs> to, uh, that's why you've got a locking tool, see, because now you need some hands to uh, screw those bolts up, which I don't have, so you're going to have to hang on a second while I do it manually. Um, so I'll just have to put you... You just stare at that bird there on the newspaper and I'll be right back. Right then, I'm back. So basically, I've had to let go of the screwdriver, but um, basically you've got your screwdriver wound home uh, fully clockwise. You then tighten down the bolts finger tight so the tensioner's in there where he should be. Now just let go of the screwdriver and the tensioner has popped out and tension the cam chain. Right, you could uh, you could torque these up beforehand but so uh, I've done it as about face. Right now the only thing left to do now is to put the uh, the top runner on, but you don't need that for uh, static messing about. That's only to stop the chain flapping around when it's running. So what we need to do now is check the valve clearances. Uh, and as this is a freshly um, built up engine, I'm going to slowly rotate it two complete turns of the crank, which is one complete revolution of the cam chain because it runs at half the engine speed so I'm going to do two revolutions on here reset the timing mark there and then go around and reset or recheck the timing marks on the pulleys on the other side and like I said two-handed job so uh, where's that woman on the newspaper again well, she's quite pretty have a look at her for a bit all right so two rpm later and I am on my inlet mark there I'm on my inlet marks there my dots are facing up and I've still got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 I've still got 15 pins between the two dots so that pretty much suggests we're all good on the valve timing plus the engine turned over nothing banged up nothing went bang snap bang wallop or whatever so uh, let's get the uh, feeler blades out and see what my new clearances are. So, uh, you'll find this is a lot easier when the bike's out of the uh, frame, basically. Know, a lot easier. I've, uh, my left hand doesn't work properly, so uh, trying to film with my right hand and do things with my left hand is very... Uh, 
as you can see, very tricky. Let me switch hands a minute. I don't know what's happening with my left hand, it seems to be dying on me. It's getting worse by the day. Right. So, when you put your feeler blade in, you need to be feeling the same resistance, because you've only got one rocker arm, and he's pushing two valves. So, if you've got like a bit of a bigger gap here than you have here, basically that valve's going to start opening before that one. And A, that's going to give it a bit of a, bit of a sort of stress point, and um, B, well, it's not going to give you as much performance. So, when you push your feeler blade in, try and gauge how much resistance you're getting and if you can feel one sliding in a lot bigger, uh, easier than the other one then the one that's easy or even the one that's tight even needs to be slightly adjusted right all four of mine are now in spec my two inlets were miles out before so uh, i'm pretty much done with the top end so i'll put the uh, plate back on here and um Put it back in the bike. See you on the next one.